Hello antique friends and welcome to my channel for another antique related video. This is Deanna speaking from Vintage Touch Antiques. It's been a while since I've done a haul video for you, but now that the temperatures are getting a little warmer, I was able to get out this past weekend, and I did come up with a lot of uh, interesting things and things that I'm really happy to have found, and I'd like to share them with you. I always uh, remind you in my haul videos that these pieces have not been processed yet, so any kind of cleaning and um, attention that they might need, will, they will get them before they're placed up for sale. But just to go through what I did find and uh, show you what they are, I did pay about $88 for the things that you will see. I've got laying here on this table, first of all, a nice old quilt. Now this is one of those old quilts that has the soft patina from age and having been laundered and so forth. It's got great old country fabrics that with those wonderful country colors there and the quilting on it is very very nice. It's not in perfect condition but it's very very nice. It's just the edges that got frayed some and it's a smaller size. And here on the floor, I hope you can see it, this is an old wood uh, window frame that uh, has the six panels there. And this is similar to uh, one of those frames that I used in my garden room uh, to make a shadow box where I display a lot of the uh, antique garden collectibles that I have as a collection and also that I sell. So I'll try to remember to put the link to that video in the description of this video in case you'd like to check out my garden room decorating video and I do show that piece in that video. Okay, beginning on this end, I've got quite a few things that I just am like so happy to have found. I'm going to go to the back here. I've I found these great little, they're either children's, well made children's doll chairs or salesman samples. And the reason I say that is because of the scale of the piece. They are so well done that um, there's a good possibility that they may have indeed been a salesman sample. You can see the thickness of the wood there. Just a great little plank bottom chair and a rocker. And this piece, I'm sure, is going to date from maybe even mid-1800s, um, certainly from 19th century. This is a just a home-constructed little dry sink that would be for a doll child size with a little drawer there that pulls out. Great old piece to find. I'm so happy with that. Here in the front section I've got a, another flower frog, needlepoint flower frog. I sell a lot of these. In fact I sold a lot this past week. And this is a two inch needlepoint. I have an old primitive um, tracing wheel for sewing and patterns. I mean for, for tracing patterns for sewing. Here is a cast iron base bill spike. I also sell a lot of these. People use them to put their credit card receipts on. I do the same thing on my desk. And another. This is a mushroom head style sock darner. Again, I sell a lot of sock darners, so I always pick those up if I can get them at a good price. This is a great old, it's a long serrated edge bread knife and this is a nice old primitive piece. I've never had one exactly like this so I was happy to get it as well. And here is another. I sell a lot of these little milk glass cream jars and stuff. This one does say Watkins on the lid. I don't know if it's going to focus for you there. It says Watkins on the bottom. Nice old embossing there on the aluminum lid. And here's a safety razor. I sell a lot of shaving collectibles. Here's a nice little ironstone mortar and pestle. It's got the little pedestal style base there. 
Now this flat iron is really different. It reminds you of one of these children's flat irons that had the little electric plug in. This is not electric. This has got, but it's metal here. It's very, very heavy and wood handle, red and black. I thought it was so unusual, I just had to pick it up. Let me see if I can get that one out of the way. Get this out of the way. Now this piece I thought was really good. This is um, hand painted and it's horses and it's on an old wood lid probably that maybe that come off of a keg or something like that. I knew I was, it's hard to do this and look through the camera at the same time. And um, I just thought that goes wonderful with primitives so I picked that one up. And what fell over here, this is an old book. It says, Our War for Human Rights. So I guess that war's been going on for some time. And it's uh, got a copyright date of 1917, and I like the patriotic uh, cover there. Okay, get some things out of the way here. Here's, I got an old turkey call. This one has already been chalked up so that it'll have that great sound. I got a little Timex alarm clock, vintage clock. These are very popular for a lot of reasons. This one unfortunately does not run, at least I haven't been able to get it to run yet, so it won't be very expensive, but a lot of people just use them for decor and so forth, so I grabbed that. And in the back there is an old barn lantern. Now again, nothing has been cleaned up yet, so you have to take that into consideration. It will be cleaned up and look a lot better when it goes up for sale. But I was happy to get the barn lantern because they're very hard to get a hold of sometimes and I don't have any right now. So, And here in the front I have a pair of what they call spats. Um, this is made out of like a duck cloth type of fabric. It's a, supposed to be ivory or white color. Uh, and it, you see it's got the buttons and details there and it straps onto that and goes under the foot. And the purpose of the spots was to uh, wear above the shoe, which protect the socks from water and mud and stuff. And they were worn mostly by men, but some women wore them as well. So, and they date from the 19th century to the early 20th century and probably not any later than the 1920s. Now this is an old primitive box. It's got some depth to it there. Not, oh, I'd say it's probably five inches deep. But it's real long and it had holes on both ends so it may, may have had something in here that was used to carry, carry it along. I don't know what it was used for, but uh, it has that wonderful primitive look and it could be used turned on its side here as a display piece as well as turned up however you'd like to use it. And I was just happy to get my hands on that. And then in addition to those pieces, now these were not part of that haul, but I wanted to show them off because I recently got them. This is one of those 19th century tollware little tin lunch pails and it's got the great rose decorations there on the front, the little drop down latch. This one's going to be going into the shop this next week and I've got $45 on it. It's ready to go. And then another, I got a remnant of a old coverlet, 19th century coverlet, that was made into like a little tablecloth, not real large, but still it's a nice piece and you just don't want to get rid of any of those uh, pieces of these woven coverlets. They were so well made and you just want to try to preserve them if you can. And this little piece, this remnant, is going in for $12. So that's the extent of my haul that I had this week. Again, I'm really happy that I was able to get as many good things as I, I was able to get and I will be processing them. So you can look for them on my, on my webpage or in my antique booth. And if um, 
there's anything here that strikes you, you can contact me and we'll see if we can't get that put online for you for sale. So thank you for watching. Have a wonderful day and remember, when you own an antique, you own a piece of history.